Mike Jack. Mike, Mike Jack. Jack. We are here today. We are here today to call on Verizon to do the right thing. To call on Verizon to do the right thing and negotiate a fair contract with its union workforce. And negotiate a fair contract with its union workforce. Verizon is holding its shareholders gathering. Verizon is holding its shareholders gathering in Huntsville, Alabama today. In Huntsville, Alabama today. Workers, people of faith. Workers, people of faith. Students and civil rights activists. Students and civil rights activists will be there to take this message directly. Will be there to take this message directly to CEO Lowell McAdam. To CEO Lowell McAdam. Boo. And all Verizon shareholders. And all Verizon shareholders. Our voices cannot be ignored. Our voices cannot be ignored. Individuals and coalitions across the country Individuals and coalitions across the country are coming together this week to tell Verizon are coming together this week to tell Verizon and its shareholders and its shareholders to end their corporate greed to end their corporate greed and treat the workers, customers and communities with respect and treat the workers, customers and communities with respect at a time when when it, at a time when we need good jobs more than ever, at a time when we need good jobs more than ever, Verizon is more concerned with padding their bottom line. Verizon is more concerned with padding their bottom line than they are with meeting the needs of our communities or their workers. Than they are with meeting the needs of our communities or workers. Verizon is placing profit over people. Verizon is placing profit over people. That ain't right. That ain't Verizon is an incredibly profitable corporation. Verizon is an incredibly profitable corporation. It has made tens of billions in profits over the last four years. It has made tens of billions in profits over the last four years. But when it comes to the 45,000 workers, but when it comes to the 45,000 workers who make Verizon's success possible, who make Verizon's success possible, the company suddenly cries broke. The company suddenly cries broke. That ain't right. That ain't right. Well, Verizon has been demanding massive cutbacks for their workers. Well, well Verizon has been demanding massive cutbacks for their workers. Their top executives have been raking in millions of dollars. Their top executives have been raking in millions of dollars. Last year, Verizon tripled CEO. Last year, Verizon tripled CEO. Lowell McAdams pay. Lowell McAdams pay to $23.1 million. To $23.1 million. That ain't right. That ain't right. Verizon's corporate greed must stop. Verizon's corporate greed must stop. So we say to Verizon. So we say to Verizon. Don't drop the call on your workers. Don't drop the call on your workers. Tell Lowell McAdam. Tell Lowell McAdam. To negotiate a fair contract. To negotiate a fair contract. With workers, with, with workers, workers, and end Verizon's corporate greed. And end Verizon's corporate greed. Woo! Yeah. I want to give to the store manager, and uh, the store manager's here. This, we're asking him to deliver this letter, or her to this letter, to uh, CEO Lowell McAdam. I know you're having a shareholders meeting. Can we? Will you please deliver that letter? Yeah. We will we would respectfully ask you to do that. Okay. Thank you. So that's the end. Okay. I guess the workers here in the store are concerned with the workers that are actually I'm concerned with my customers, so. Are they right? We are too. We are customers. I'm a Verizon customer. I can hear For now. 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 For